Hello, hello there. I'm all suited up because in this video, I hope I'll do my best in discussing what I'm about to discuss. If you get confused along the way, you can always pause the video or better express your concerns in the comment section down below. Before I proceed, this the information that you'll be getting from this video is only about self ejector purifiers only. I've, I have not experienced handling alpha level purifiers yet, but hopefully I would be I would get a chance soon so that I could share the knowledge that I would acquire with you. But for now, it's all about subjector purifiers. With the global change with regards to controlling emissions, a regulation was implemented that reduced the ship's sulfur emissions to 0.5% globally. That made vessels operating with high sulfur fuels have a hard time adjusting. Aside from installing SOX scrubber systems on ships, operators switched their fuels from high sulfur to low sulfur and that affected a lot of machineries specifically the purifier because a change of fuel grade meant a change of viscosity and density and the change of viscosity and density meant that there's a change in the gravity disk in the purifier so how can you determine the right gravity disk for your purifier that is through the purifier nomogram there are three properties needed so that you can know the correct gravity disk for your purifier. First is the specific gravity or the density of the treated oil, which can be known through the oil analysis taken after every bunkering. Second is the treating temperature of that oil, which can be determined through the temperature viscosity diagram, which I'll be discussing in another video. And lastly, the feed rate capacity of your purifier based on its model. So in summary, we have the density, treating temperature, and the feed rate capacity. Those parameters are what you need to know the correct gravity disk for your purifier. Let's have an example. So example number one, we have an oil which has a known specific gravity at 15 degrees Celsius. So its density is at 925 kilograms per cubic meter at 15 degrees Celsius. Its treating temperature is at 70 degrees Celsius and its feed rate is at 3,000 liters per hour. And the self ejector purifier model that we'll be using is SJ35H. So this is our purifier monogram with the, with the self ejector model of SJ35H-HH. The first thing we need to determine is the location of our given density in the table. It shall be located in the left part of the table. Our given density is 925 kilograms per cubic meter and it should be in between 900 and 950 kilograms per cubic meter. After locating the point of our density, we need to locate the point of our separating temperature which was given at 70 degrees Celsius. After locating, we can now draw a vertical line with the 70 degrees Celsius separating temperature as our reference point. After establishing our vertical line, we can now draw a falling curve from 925 until it intersects with the vertical line that has been drawn. From the intersection, we can draw a horizontal line until it reaches the vertical line of 100 degrees Celsius. Then we can connect the second intersection and the point of the given feed rate which is 3000 liters per hour by using a straight line. With the intersection made by the section of gravity disk to the third line, we can now read the correct gravity disk for the given oil, which is 78. For the second example, we have a given oil which has an unknown specific gravity at 15 degrees Celsius. Instead, its specific gravity was given at 50 degrees Celsius. So the given are as follows. 944 kilograms per cubic meter at 50 degrees Celsius density. Its feed temperature is at 98 degrees Celsius and its feed rate it's and its feed rate is at 1250 liters per hour. So in this scenario, we can convert our given density to a specific gravity at 15 degrees Celsius. All we need to do is first just like the first example is to locate the given density of the table. 
and then locate the given temperature for the same density which is 50 degrees after locating the 50 degrees celsius temperature we can draw a vertical line with the 50 degrees as our reference point and thereafter establishing that vertical line we cannot draw a rising curve from 944 until it intersects with the 50 degree vertical line with that we have already converted our specific gravity at 50 degrees into 15 degrees celsius and then we can repeat the steps we have done from example number one so from that point we can draw a falling curve until it intersects with the vertical line made from the treating temperature given which is 98 degrees celsius and then we can draw a horizontal line until it reaches the 100 degree vertical line after that we can connect the point in our 100 degree vertical line to the given feed rate which is 1250 liters per hour by using a straight line with the intersection made by the section of gravity disk to the previously drawn line we can now read the correct gravity disk for our given oil which is 70.5 so that concludes my video i know it was a handful i hope i did well in explaining what needs to be explained you can repeat the video as many times as you like and of of course you can always leave a comment if you have any concerns or questions and I'll be happy to answer all of them. I hope I was able to explain it simply and I hope you're also you were able to learn something. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for more. I'll be making more videos with the same content as this one and also some videos which of course relates to the life of a seafarer. So again thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.